him run wild. He was wild. Joe Weider told me later that Arnold was on cocaine that day. And in looking at some of the photographs later on, I believe that he had a, an unusually stressed look on his face. The veins on his forehead were extended. All symptoms of being on cocaine. 1980, I placed fifth at the Mr. Olympia, a contest that I and almost everyone else who witnessed it was convinced was fixed crowd began to boo at Arnold as he was announced winner. Menser smashed his trophy in the parking lot and retired bodybuilding forever. Today, after all these years, we'll be uncovering what really went on backstage of the 1980 Mr. Olympia. Arnold had just finished acting in a movie and was in his worst condition ever. He began going to Gold's Gym and told his friend Franco Colombo his secret that he would be competing in this year's Mr. Olympia. Rumors began to spread that Arnold would make a surprise comeback. But Arnold insisted that he would only be commentating and promoting. Arnold being a superstar at this point had a lot of money and according to Menser, secretly controlled the industry. Besides the point, Menser had gained pounds of muscle from his last year's Mr. Universe, which was the only perfect score of 300 at that time. It looked like this Olympia was in the bag. Frank Zane had suffered a freak injury that resulted in him losing 20 pounds of muscle. With him out of the way, the path was clear for Menser to grab that trophy and take that win. The night came in Sydney Opera House, Australia. Bodybuilding legend Bill Pro was going to be judging, but out of nowhere, suspecting something fishy was happening with Arnold and wanted nothing to do with it, dropped last second. Last second, Arnold appeared out of nowhere backstage warming up and getting tan all the bodybuilders were shocked Menser, being an intuitive guy knew something sinister was being planned as the bodybuilders were backstage they got into a big argument with arnold about weight classes and arnold began insulting some of them Menser, standing up for his friends defending them called out arnold to grow up and this was arnold's response and that pissed him off he turned around very rapidly to face me and he literally had his upper lip was curled around like a he was snarling like an animal he said, oh, come on, Menser, we all know that you lost last year because of your big belly. And I allowed that to irritate me perhaps too much, and on impulse, I ran over towards him. I was surprised. Arnold Schwarzenegger sat down. I scared him. No. Menser did have a big waist that day. It could have been that he ate some of his favorite pancakes, but I still believe he was in extremely good shape. Top three at least. And Arnold, genetic specimen, the best bodybuilder of all time you might even argue, but he wasn't in his best shape. To add insult to injury, Arnold constantly did the wrong pose to show off his best features. That should have been an instant disqualification or at least deduction of some points, making him a top five contender at best. But the results couldn't have been more opposite. Arnold first place with 300 points and Menser fifth would have spit in the face to Menser. Menser didn't even want his trophy. As he was leaving the parking lot, he smashed it on the ground. And Frank Zane was extremely upset as well. His trophy magically broke. Zane didn't compete for the next year, so Olympia boycotting it. Menser never said that he deserved to win, but simply stated that Arnold shouldn't have. Menser left the sport, but his legacy lives on. His genius, his body, his attitude to question everything. This is how he found high-intensity training. He was a pre-med student, where his hours away from the gym were spent to study genetics, physical chemistry, and organic chemistry. He knew his stuff and developed a training method of his own, completely different from anything I've seen. I made a full guide that will teach you everything you need to know, but I need to warn you, there is a side effect. Massive forearms, as you guys know, Menser had the biggest forearms you've ever seen. The link is in the description. Let's continue. Menser lived a tragic life after this. Tom Platt said, He got upset and carried this bitterness and carried this anger with him everywhere he went. And I think that's one of the reasons it caused him to die. In 2001, he and his brother died two days apart of what gets most bodybuilders, heart disease. But they are remembered very fondly. There's rumors that he did math as a pre-workout. I have no idea if this is true, but his training method is so intense I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Arnold went on to become a great movie star known by every single household. He also went to become the governor of California and also cheat on his wife with a maid. He was also probably a Nazi who was seen in the footage of pumping iron, doing the Hitler salute and doing all this crazy stuff he bought the footage for millions of dollars and then stored it away never to be seen again suspicious he also said in an interview about unconstitutional quote-unquote covid restrictions screw your freedom he said my freedom is being kind of disturbed here no screw your freedom Arnold, very questionable guy. He has a very high ego. Some may say it's justified. Some may say it's not. At the end of the day, it's in the past. We all know who the true winner is. Leave it in the comments below. I, I want to know who you guys think deserve the win.
I personally like Frank Zane the best, even though he lost a lot of muscle due to, to blood loss in his injury. If you guys are interested in Mike's training program, it's in the link in the description. It's the best training out there. It's the best for naturals. It's the best for forearms. It's the best for growth, for hypertrophy. I love it. Very intense though. I won't make any more mentor videos. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I appreciate all of you who subscribed. I just want to shed light on the false lights in the industry in this world. I'll leave you guys with a montage of the 1980 Mr. Olympia. I want you guys to decide for yourselves who is the true winner. Is it Frank Zane? Is it Mike Mentor? Or is it Arnold? Unbiased. God bless. Take care. I'll see y'all soon. Three rounds. Here we have Mike Mensah.